Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And uh, as we continue to look at our mission and our purpose in Jesus and being blessed by the Lord, today we're in John chapter 17, verses 16 through 18. Tyler? They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. They also may be sanctified by the truth. Okay. They're not of the world. We're in the world, but not of the world. This is where that concept really takes shape. Okay. Now, some people go, well, brother, this is specifically about the apostles. Do you really think that it's any different now than it was then? Okay. Um, and why, why have we gone backwards? Because you have churches that are like, well, how do we reach the world? How do we make church less offensive so that we can bring people in? Um, wrong question. You don't make church less offensive. Now, if by that you mean what things did our grandparents do that set people on edge unnecessarily, maybe that. But it's the wrong question. The right answer to the wrong question is still the wrong answer. Okay? You're not of the world, so quit trying to be at peace with the world. All right? You're not of the world, so don't look at and go, how can we market ourselves better to the children of Satan? Um, here's how, verse 17. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. You know how you find out which children of Satan aren't fully on board with Satan's agenda? You preach the truth, and the truth goes smack, and it hits them in the forehead, and they go, wow, I need to change. And then his word makes them holy. His word makes you holy. That's what the word sanctified. Set them apart. Make them holy through your word. That comes to point number two. Is your goal to be happy? more than it is to be holy so you can have both no you can't not initially you have to choose to be holy first then <gasps> what word did we use yesterday tyler mm -hmm. that people usually confuse with happy joyful joy get holy and have joy now we're on a different level mm -hmm. The main reason most people can't become uh, joy-filled Christians, the reason that most people can't have the joy that Jesus promises, is because they're not pursuing His holiness. You can't have His joy if you don't want His holiness. He's kind of funny that way. You don't get one aspect of what He promises you while totally uh, repudiating another attribute. So... And then verse 18, get out there. Get out there. Carry the message of holiness. Carry the message of his word. Carry the message of his joy. Carry the message that we're supposed to be different. We're not supposed to be like the world is. We're supposed to be different. Get on board with that. And guess what? When you're in the place doing what he says, then you're in the place for him to bless you, to achieve his purposes for his glory and your benefit. Those are the thoughts, my brother. No, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good day.